Yeah, example yeah. is a 500 square meter one. Yeah. Uh, we have one in, in Belgium, the tiniest one, the smallest one. The, the purpose of this one is you get a low investment cost in the beginning, uh, low maintenance, so it means yeah, like a very low life cycle cost. So this is why it makes it interesting for uh, small to large companies, so for commercial use, also industrial use, but also residential use, just because you put it on top of your roof and you never look at it again. So It's also a, ty a special type of mortar, it's just not concrete, it's not normal uh, concrete. Uh, if you would just use a uh, normal concrete, yeah, if you would use normal concrete, it would crack, definitely. So this is a, a motor we developed. Uh, it's an energy motor. It's very light, but it's conductive. This one is actually an insulating motor. It's also very light, but it's an, uh, it insulates actually the heat from going into yeah, to the building. The build. So the, the top layer actually acts as a, like a thermal mass, like adds inertia to the system. Yeah. So. What is this made for? It's actually cement. There's also EPS in, so styrofoam. Um, there's also vermiculite inside. Vermiculite has water absorbent um, capacity. Uh, also acts as a density regulator, so it can be easily pumped to the roof. Um, it doesn't get too heavy. It's a lightweight structure. Uh, vermiculite also makes sure that it is uh, fireproof. And there's chemical additives inside that, first of all, uh, it makes it doesn't dry too quickly, so there's no cracks. And second of all, it makes it uh, thixotropic, so it means that if you agitate it or shake it uh, in, 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 when it's still fluid, uh, it becomes low in viscosity, and when you, so we can easily pump it to the roof. But once it's on the roof, it settles down and it gets high in viscosity, so it's easy to spread out and to, to, to handle. So that's the reason why we can install this on uh, flat roofs, but also on slightly inclined ones. Sorry. I know that's so full. The nice thing about it is if you would install, for example, PV panels on top, it would actually decrease operational temperature of the PV panels because you extract the heat, which will increase efficiency of your PV panels. What are you running through here? A uh, water glycol mixture, monopropylene. Okay, so you, then you're using that to heat the water? Well, you actually, uh, you run this through a heat exchanger. Heat. Right. For example, your uh, the, the water of your pool, huh? just right. through a heat exchanger, and then you have a hot a hot pool. So, okay. Okay. so you could feed a uh, heat pump. Yeah. Heat a facility. Interior, water to air, facility. water to water, whatever you like. What about the expected lifetime? Without expected like lifetime. Well, these tubes are tested at, uh, for 10,000 hours at 90 degrees Celsius at 10 bars. And the whole lifetime of a building like this, I mean, the roof like this, would be 50 to 60 years. So actually, it's the same lifetime as your your building. So 